Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to our math thinking. This is teacher I of grade 5 mathematics. Our lesson here are truly based on the most essential learning competences. So today, our first topic to discuss is the visibility rule number 2, 5, and 10. So, if you are ready, let's do it! Before we proceed to our lesson for today, let us answer first the following division facts. Let us try how good you are in division. So, if you are ready, let's go. The first number is 56 divided by 2 is equal to 28. The next number is 70 divided by 5. The answer is 14. Next number, 85 divided by 5 is equal to 17. Next number, 120 divided by 10 is equal to 12. So this time, I will let you to give the first five multiples of the following numbers. So first, number two. What are the first five multiples of two? So we have two, four, six, eight, ten. These are the first five multiples of two. Let us proceed to number five. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. What about 10? What are the first 5 multiples of 10? We have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. These are the first 5 multiples of 2, 5, and 10. Now, let us proceed to our topic for today. So, let us start it with the problem. So, let us read the problem. Teacher Ray conducted a game called The Boat is Sinking. He asked his 40 pupils to group themselves into 2, 5, and 10. Would it be possible to group themselves equally? Now, let us group the 40 pupils by 2s. So that is the first group of twos. So we count it as two, four, six, eight, twelve, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six. 38 and 40. Then if you are going to count the number of groups, we have a total of 20 groups. So, we have 20 groups of 2s, meaning 40 is divisible by 2. Let us proceed to the next number. What about if we are going to group them by 5? Would it be possible? Let us try. That is the first group of 5, so we count it as 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So as you can see, we have 8 groups of 5, meaning 40 is divisible by 5. Now, let us group them into 10. That is the first group composed of 10 members. Another second group composed of 10 members. The third group and the fourth group. So, we have 4 groups of 10. Meaning, 40 is divisible by 10. Now, to identify numbers that are divisible by the given number, always remember the divisibility rule. Remember the divisibility rule. The number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is 
even number. What is even number? Even number is a number which can be divided by 2 to make a whole number. Next, the number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 0 or 5. And the number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is only 0. Now, we are going to practice this time. We are going to identify numbers which are divisible by 2 by saying yes if the number is divisible by 2 and no if it is not. Are you ready? So let us start. 268 is divisible by 2. Yes or no? The answer is yes. Why? Because the last digit is 8 which is divisible by 2 and 8 is an even number. Always remember what are the even number. Next number. 12,304. Is it divisible by 2? The answer is yes. Why? Because the last digit is 4 which is divisible by 2 and 4 is an even number. What about this number? 9,295. Is it divisible by 2? No. Why? Because the last digit is 5, which is not divisible by 2 and 5 is not an even number. Okay, what about 92,210? Is it divisible by 5? The answer is yes, because the last digit is 0, which is divisible by 5. Next number, 8,575. Is it divisible by 5? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Because the last digit is 5. And remember that any number that ends with 5 is always divisible by 5. Next number. What about a big number like 318,156,124? Is it divisible by 5? The answer is no. That because the last digit is 4, which is not divisible by 5. What about 962,680? Is it divisible by 10? Yes, it because the last digit is 0 and any number that ends with 0 is always divisible by by 10. Next number, 269,125. Is it divisible by 10? The answer is no, because the last digit is 5 and it is not divisible by 10. So let us have another example. Draw thumbs up on the blank if the second number is a factor of the first number and thumbs down if it is not. Okay, 328 is divisible by 2. The answer is thumbs up or thumbs down. Thumbs up because the last digit is 8. What about 547? Is it divisible by 5? The answer is, thumbs down. It because the last digit is 7, 7 is not divisible by 5. What about 470? Is it divisible by 5? The answer is, yes. Because 
the last number is 0. Always remember that number that ends with 0 is always divisible by 5. What about 2980? Is it divisible by 10? The answer is thumbs up. What about 7,125? Is that divisible by 10? Thumbs down because the last digit is 5. Okay? Now, it's your turn. Say true or false on the space provided whether the given number is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Then let us examine its number. So let us start. Number 16. Is it divisible by 2? True or false? The answer is true. Is it divisible by 5? The answer is it's a big false. Is it divisible by 10? The answer is false. What about 30? Is it divisible by 2? The answer is true. 30 is divisible by 5. True or false? True. What about 10? Is it divisible by 10? True. Let us proceed to next number 656. Is it divisible by 2? True. Divisible by 5? False. Divisible by 10? False. Next number, 125. Divisible by 2? False. Is it divisible by 5? True. Is it divisible by 10? False. What about 344? Can we consider that it is divisible by 2? True. What about divisible by 5? False. Divisible by 10? False. So, so, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. See you on my next topic. God bless everyone. Have a nice day. Goodbye!